Welcome to Gradle Navigator, now generally available. With Navigator, you can generate high quality, very realistic synthetic tabular data, all from just a prompt and for any industry. I'm Nicole Pang, I'm the Navigator product lead, and I'll walk you through how to make use of Navigator's new features, all generally available now, in order to generate the tabular data that you're looking for. To get started, you can click on the Navigator blueprint, or you can select Navigator from the side. In the blueprint, you'll get links to the Navigator Playground, which has been in public preview and is now generally available, or you can read the docs and the examples to integrate the Navigator SDK. For now, we'll start with the Playground. In the Playground, we have Create Data from Scratch, which is Navigator bread and butter for creating synthetic data from a prompt. This has been in public preview for many months, and we're now excited to introduce that it's now generally available with more advanced features. For example, I've selected here the Gretel model. This is our Gretel industry fine-tuned model based on the open source Mistral model. In the highlight today, a very popular use case we've been hearing from users, which is to generate synthetic data for evaluating RAG models. In this example, I'm asking Navigator to generate a data set with a question, an answer, and a truth based on what I've pasted. And all I have to do is click generate. There's some other features like now you can indicate how many rows you want to preview in the playground as well as some advanced parameters for advanced users. I can see here that, as expected, my results come in very quickly with my question, the context, and then the truth from the pasted truth. We're also, we also now have logs on the right-hand side. This will show you the model that is uh, used for data generation, as well as at the end, it will show you the billing and usage information. As I mentioned, you have 100 rows uh, of preview in the playground, but to generate more data to suit your enterprise use case, you can use this no-code batch data option or check out the Navigator SDK. For the no-code batch data option, this will lead you to a, a surface off of Playground where you can indicate the number of records you want, review the prompt, and then submit the job. The job that you submit will be uh, in progress and you can check on the activity. You can also navigate away from this page and check back on the activity either on this page or in your activity page inside your Gretel console. Let's go back to the playground for now. I'll show you how to add data to existing data sets with this new edit mode feature. This is also very applicable to RAG as well as other use cases. For RAG, for instance, perhaps you have a data set with uh, columns of information and you wanna add a question and answer columns or you wanna add a summary column. I'll show you how you can do that very easily. All I do is select my data set and now I want to add a column. So I'll add a column that summarizes the text in the first column. And that's it, I'll click Generate. The data that I added was a data of email text and I expect to see a new column that summarizes the dense text in the first column into a much more succinct summary. Again, we have logs here and also model selection. As I mentioned before, you can select which model you want to use, but Gretel Auto will automatically select the best model based on the context of your prompt. As you can see, my, my original column is still seen here in the first column, but now I also have new data that is now appended to my data set, and this is a summary of all of the emails in my data set. If you're not ready to start generating tabular data, you can also use the natural language interface to ask navigators some questions like, what is synthetic data and why is it useful? Or very handily, you can use the natural language interface to play around with best prompts. So for instance, earlier we were talking about healthcare and I can write a prompt that generates realistic healthcare electro electronic health records. And now I can use this output as the prompt in my tabular data mode. This is a quick look at the, all the new things you can do with Gretel Navigator, now generally available. Please continue to submit your feedback through the link in the playground. Excited to see what you do with Navigator and happy synthesizing.